Now let's go back to maybe the first lever, which we didn't touch on, which I actually don't understand. Um, and number one lever, and the number two we were talking about, act as if the future's already there. But number one was pay attention to continuity. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so when people work on change and they deal with it, that's what they pay attention to. And at face value, that makes sense. Well, I pay attention to something else. It's not that I ignore change, but I pay attention to something else, which is what not to change. And this is a very interesting theory because it's paradoxical. It's what, mm. what you think, right? But you need to take the other side of the coin as well. So what happens when we pay attention to continuity, right? One thing is, is that the things that we're doing well, we're gonna keep doing. We're not gonna drop the ball on the things that we've done well. We're gonna to continue to exceed on those. Another thing it does is it gives people a sense of confidence. You know where you are. I say you have firm footing to take a leap into the unknown world of change if you can pay attention to continuity and actually have a firm foot on the ground and say, no, I know who we are. This is why people have missions, visions, and values in organizations is because continuity matters. Mm. Now, they haven't framed it that way. They haven't talked about it that way. But why is it that we, we clutch so closely to those things in organizations and we spend so much time working on them is because they exhibit continuity for us during these turbulent times of change. So plenty of time and energy gets spent on change. And what I tell leaders is that when they communicate, whether it's in a memo, it's in a town hall, it's in a, a business meeting or review, uh, working with their boards, that every time when they talk about what needs to change, they also pay attention to something that needs to stay the same and keep that on the front burner as well. Yeah. Because otherwise, people feel overwhelmed, they feel confused, and change is, there's enough of it already. If we lose the piece of continuity, it's like one hand clapping, I believe. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You can't have too much change. You've got to hold on to what is working and optimize that, and then... Um, make sure that you're not overwhelming people with too much change because you're just going to lose them and they're just going to feel lost and possibly leave.